For the circuit shown, find out the current flowing through the 2 ohm resistance. Also identify the changes to be made to double the current through the 2 ohm resistance. This is the given network and we have three elements in this network. Voltage source providing the voltage 4 volts, current source providing the current 5 amperes and one resistor having the value 2 ohms. And we are required to find out the current through this resistor. Now pause the video and try to solve this question on your own and then I will provide you the solution. I hope you tried solving the problem and now I will provide the simple analysis of this network. In order to calculate current I, we need the voltage across this resistor and let's say the voltage across it is equal to VL. So current I will be equal to VL divided by 2. So if we can calculate VL, we will have current I. Now focus on the voltage source we are having. If this point is having the 0 volt potential, then this point will have the 4 volts potential and therefore this point will also have the same potential 4 volts and this point will have the same potential 4 volts and this point will have the potential 0 volt and this point will also have the potential 0 volt. Now look at the two points you will find the potential difference is equal to 4 minus 0 that is 4 volts. So the voltage across the resistor is equal to 4 volts and therefore current I will be equal to 4 divided by 2 which is 2 amperes. So current I is equal to 2 amperes and you can notice one thing that the current I is not affected by the current source we are having. And if you remember the lecture in which I gave you the tips and tricks related to the voltage source, I told you whenever there is current source connected in parallel with the voltage source and we are performing the calculation on the load side, then we can always remove the current source. So you can remove this current source and you can proceed with the solution. In that case, you will have current I equal to 2 amperes. And when you look at the four options, you will find option B is the correct option because here we have 2 ampere as the value of current I. But in question, it is also asking about the change we need to make to double the current through the 2 ohm resistance. So this time we want the current equal to 2 times I which is equal to 2 multiplied to 2 that is 4 amperes. So current through the resistance is equal to 4 amperes and the voltage across it is equal to VL which is equal to Vs divided by the resistance. So from here we are getting the voltage Vl which is Vs equal to 4 multiplied to 2 that is 8 volts. So Vs is equal to 8 volts. So you can see that when your basics are clear the problem will not be difficult to solve and they gave this problem for two marks. So it was an easy two marks if your basics are clear. Now we will move on to the homework problem. In the homework problem, you are required to find out current I1 and current I2 in the below circuit. The question is taken from ESE 2010 electrical paper and you have to think about the best possible way to calculate current I1 and current I2 and once you have your answer, post it in comment section. 
So this is all for this lecture. See you in the next one.